Beer Brut is what I'm calling it. I mean, I refer to it as a beer to champagne, but putting that on a label in the United States is bound to really anger some guys in the Champagne region of France. So I was an assistant brewer at Cambridge Brewing Company in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, I got hired there as a keg washer and keg deliverer. I was doing that for a while. Um, kind of worked my way into the brew house and the, uh, the brewmaster there, Will Myers, kind of took me under his wing and uh, allowed me to brew there and allowed me to ask him a million questions and um, really gave me a really profound education. Um, and then a couple years into it, I realized I got exposed to this style of beer called Beer de Champagne, um, which is my flagship beer. I realized that A, no one in the U.S. was making it, um, and B, I thought maybe I could make it. So I tried doing it at home a little bit, because I was still home brewing a lot. Um, I discovered that it, while it's very technically challenging and it's very labor intensive, that I thought I could make a pretty, pretty damn good beer. So um, kind of came up with the idea, well, I, I don't have the money to start a real brewery, I don't have enough money to get like a 10 barrel system or anything. Um, but what if I put together like a really small, a nano system, like a barrel and a half, and I bought small business for dummies and wrote a business plan and crunched the numbers and kind of made it work. Yeah, it kind of just kind of just went along. Like I, thinking about it now, it's a pretty crazy idea. Um, but <laughs> I guess, I guess kind of arrogantly it was like, oh yeah, I can do this, I can do this. And I eventually opened up and started selling beer, so. One of the coolest things about the whole project is we get to combine um, basically two different art forms. I'm making something that I'm very proud of as an artist. It's this beer that I've I've labored over and that I've thought about and brewed and put out there. And Liz, who is a brilliant painter, basically gets to create a unique piece of art. And the two of them are combined. So we're, we're basically kind of putting on an art show. We have it on a shelf. We have her piece of art, which has been specifically commissioned for this beer inspired by the beer and then the beer itself, which is kind of inspired by the painting too, or the idea that um, she's putting together for the painting. Um, and it's just awesome. Oh, much better. There we go. Boom. Ah. Oh, that's much better than coffee. All right.